Today is a day for truth. Is that Superman? <gasps> Superman! The world needs oh. to know what happened. Superman, one of my favorite uh, compadres. That kind of power is very dangerous. He's running into it. What's wrong with this dude? Here comes 9-11. That's how it starts, the fever. Here's Ben. The turns, good man. Oh, it's a Batman film. Cruel. This bat vigilante. Is this a bad bad man? Is this a bad bad man? You don't get to decide what the right thing is. Nobody cares. Oh, this about is a the great cast. Now they cast each other as a team or not. This means something. This isn't right. This isn't right. Superheroes shouldn't fight. They should stick together. Do you know the oldest lie in America, Senator? The devils don't come from hell beneath us. And the guy who started Facebook is in this. They come from the sky. Oh no. This is making me nervous because I like Batman. He has the power to wipe out the entire human race. Yeah, Superman was very powerful. This is gonna be really good. I'm gonna have to destroy him. Very confusing. Who's the good guy? Batman has no chance. Is that Xenia? Wonder Woman? What happened to her red, white, and blue outfit? He is not our enemy. God versus man. This stuff I hate. Day versus night. Good lord. I can't wait to see this. The red capes are coming. <laughs> the red capes are coming. <laughs> Be serious. Batman can't stand up against Superman. So they combined the symbols. I guess we're always looking for ways to bring people in to see movies. Batman versus Superman? Ooh. Well, that was sort of like take absolutely everything from every place you could possibly think of and gush it all together. Twist it a little, huh? But hopefully it has a happy ending. Okay, so this was a trailer for the upcoming Batman vs. Superman movie. Did you know this movie was coming out? No clue. No. I did not. No. What a good idea, though. I heard about it, yes. I read about it somewhere. Is this the type of movie that you like to see? Oh, definitely. I love Superman. That's my favorite superhero. I would go with the kids to see, I, you know, my grandson. Uh, if Not that he would want me. We grew up with these movies. You know, and they keep making them and they keep more and more excited with the new technology. Yeah, I can't wait. Honestly, no. I like small indie films. As a kid, I enjoyed them, but I like more of the realistic, but I, I, I don't want to let go of that kid in me. So Batman and Superman first appeared in comic books in the late 1930s. When do you remember first discovering Batman or Superman? Well, Superman from the George Reeves show on television. I love that show. Black and white uh, TV show with the original Superman. The Batman show that was kind of cheesy and funny. I was uh, 14 years old. I was a comic book reader. Definitely have to have the comic books. Probably in the early 1940s. There was a comic book store around the corner from us. I think the comic cost a nickel. They were the big little books. Do you remember those? All those kids were into Superman and we were into Tom Mix. So take a look at the screen again. What do you prefer, the old style costume or the new costumes? I like the old costumes, of course. I guess that's because I'm familiar with them. Definitely the one with um, Christopher Reeves. What a difference. I like the older one on both. It's too fake, it's too buffy. I like the new costumes in that they show more definition and they show that six pack. Is that the original Batman outfit? You know, it looks so much hotter back then. <laughs> so there have been a lot of Batman and Superman movies, but this is the first time they're being placed in the same film. Why do you think they decided now was the time to put them together? Because <laughs> they've run out of ideas. Because they're both, both so well loved. That's like a grand slam, man. Somebody had the brainstorm saying, well, why don't we uh, put them together? Like they did with the other Avengers. Uh, put together Iron Man, Thor. DC needed to up its game. Marvel uh, has better writers than DC, I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't want to get Blast that into it. Yeah, I don't, don't want to get into that war. So superhero movies are probably the most box office successful films right now in Hollywood. But were comic books always considered a very mainstream and cool thing that everybody liked when you were younger? Uh, more, it was always considered for kids. More for kids. I definitely think comic books were more nerdy. You got your comic book collections 
stack right next to your vintage Dungeon and Dragon board. My father thought it was the biggest waste of time. He didn't realize that we did get a lot of uh, language and humor and how to connect that. I, I think that was terrific, a terrific uh, experience for us. What changed that something that was nerdy is now the thing that everybody goes to see? Those people simply continued to grow up. In many ways, I think people look for nostalgia in things nowadays. Nerds are the hippest thing around nowadays. Intellect became really, really attractive. And whatever those intellectuals are into, I think is more attractive now. They're finding ways to appeal to everyone. I think that was what was missing. I think it has something to do with uh, uh, the way they make them. It's not stupid, you know, sometimes when you see the old Batman TV series, you know, pow, boom, you know, type of thing, you know. And I think that the technology, you know, with the graphic and that the computer generate, you know, I think it gives a little more excitement. So back to the movie, some people were disappointed that they cast Ben Affleck as Batman. Do you think he's a good choice to play Batman? No, I'm not a Ben Affleck. Band. It's like a bad choice of George Clooney playing Batman. You know, sometimes, you know, some of those guys, you know, they're, they're just too pretty. Sometimes you have to have a bad voice, you know, to, to play certain character. I anticipate that he'll do a small job. I've seen him be ex exceptionally good in a whole lot of stuff. Yes, because he does have that square jaw. He looks like a hero. Stuff that I've seen Ben in, uh, He's been all right. Maybe he might not have been the best choice, but we can be more critical of it afterwards. There's a lot of hype for this movie. Do you think it's gonna live up to the expectation or do you not think it can? One can only hope. I think it's gonna disappoint. Based on what I saw just now, it's gonna be there. It's going to be popular or, or it's gonna be very successful. It will not matter. <laughs> Everybody will go to see it anyway. Um, if it does live up to it, then they'll make Batman and Superman 2. Everything's overhyped nowadays, so you know, you, ju you just gotta figure what you think you might like and lay down your, what is it, 15 bucks or whatever, and go in and have a good time. Forget about the reviews, forget about the hype, and just enjoy the movie. So finally, we have to ask, who would win in a fight, Batman or Superman? Come on, guys, this is, is this a really serious question? It's Superman. Superman seems like I have more power. Superman. Superman. I would have to pull for Superman. I hope Batman wins. Superman. Basically, Superman has the most power, unless the kryptonite is hidden someplace. I think they both would. <laughs> I'm gonna play it safe. I really don't like the idea of one being an adversary of the other. I would rather they teamed up together. But if they good. were to fight, <laughs> who would win? Superman. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Elders React. In the comments, please let us know what we should watch next. Help support the show by sharing this video with everyone you know. And so long, everybody. Gee, Batman, it's time to go. Let's go.